fairy-tastic candle. So I see, that's how it should be. Huh. But where to look for it? Ah, here. And then you have to do... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Yes, and I'll make everything so <gasps> beautiful. I'll definitely have dresses for you all. <laughs> Great idea. Mm. And flowers everywhere. And then it will open to the one insistent. <laughs> no, this is unbearable. <laughs> and streamlining. <laughs> what are you girls doing here? The Council of the Kingdom decided to cancel the ball in honor of the princess's majority until they find... It's Fancy's birthday. We are getting ready. We want to celebrate in the evening when people go to the movies. A birthday? You mean today? Then... Lessons are canceled. Happy birthday, Fancy. <laughs> collection for all fairy stories and this is a good dream it will show you what you want to see the most invisibility cloak <laughs> the most fashionable oh awesome did you come to congratulate me too what awesome gifts thank you thank you and this is from me now. Oh, I know. Why don't we all play tag and show? How do you play? Whoever's it tags players and says what to portray. Then I'll be it. Loco motive. Woo hoo! Choo choo! Chugga 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 chugga. Tiger. <laughs> Oh, I must have miscalculated something. How dark it is. I'll try to fix everything. I'll come help. Tertia, are you here? Uh, hi. Who are you? Whoa! Watch out! Do not get burned! Oh, ta-da! That's it! I'm not only burning, but I'm also speaking! No way! This hasn't happened to me before. My objects only came to life, but they didn't talk. And who are you? Where are you from? How'd you do that? What time is it now? Why is the grass green? Who framed Roger Rabbit, huh? What's the meaning of life? <gasps> so many questions I have accumulated! Finally, I can ask them! Wait, but I can answer everything. I'm not really that, uh, intelligent. Um, intelligent. I'm Fancy, a fairy. I live here. Why are we talking about you all the time? Let's talk about me, otherwise there's no time left. Why so little time? Take a look at my cat. What do you see? It's burning. And? And it glows bright. No, not that. <laughs> Is it really that incomprehensible? It melts, burns, and melts from the heat. Which means I melt too. Well then, just stop burning so quickly. <laughs> Oh, now you can't talk anymore. But at least you're going to be safe. Fancy, where is Tertia? Anything interesting here? No, nothing yet. Why, hello once again! Gnome, joy of a home. We continue our exciting conversation. But I blew it off. This is a self-igniting candle, you see. It's especially made that way. If something extinguishes it, it ignites again and will not go out until it burns out. No, the gnome will stay alive. <gasps> uh, everything is all right. Mm. 
Ferrum, scare him. What is he? You're evil. I'm gonna leave you. No, actually, I'm not leaving. Otherwise, I'll have no one to talk to. Laddy, you're smart. Please think of something. Hmm. Well, we can try to shut off the oxygen. What? If we cover the wick with something, then the burning will stop. I, 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 oh, oh, ah, great peace! Hands off the seals! Ah, 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 it's the eye of the tiger! It's the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our rival! Who's the man waiting for me? The adventure's not easier! There's nothing to breathe! <gasps> Did you miss me? You can't hide a gnome in a glass. <laughs> Listen here, young experimenters. Leave everything as it is, huh? <gasps> oh my goodness, girls. Maybe we don't need to. We need to. Dreamy, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you spitting? You cannot break my proud spirit. Drown me. Cut me if you will. Do what you want, but I will still burn. Flame, glow. The light is coming on soon. Uh, what's going on with you? Ah, save me! Help me, anyone, please! You there, murderers are slaughtering! Executioners, gnome slayers, don't do to gnomes what you don't want done to you! A gnome is only a prophet in his own garden. No more ozone holes! These chains will not hold me down! What's happening is that Fanti doesn't want the candle to melt. But after all, a candle is needed to burn, shine, and be useful. Its purpose is to help people. Let the elders burn, shine, and be useful. We just started to become friends. <laughs> and I don't want the gnome to... to... <clears throat> what happened? Did I say something wrong? Don't you know, Tertia? Don't I know what? That Fanti's parents disappeared while they were helping people during the disaster. That's why Fanti came to school at such an early age. They were lifeguards. Oh, of course. I know, yes, but this, but this is a completely different case. Okay, I'll think of something now. Yes, sunshine, but not really. Just as if in a dream. Happy birthday, my little one. You've grown up into a good girl. Mommy and Daddy, I can animate objects. Look at these. Do you know where you got this gift? Once, your mom and I saw something amazing. In the theater, inanimate puppets transformed into living ones. It was a real miracle, and fairies are born from wonderful experiences. What inspires a fairy becomes a gift for her children. You will become a great fairy, baby, and your gift will do a lot of good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, darling. Daddy, Mommy, please don't leave. <laughs> Sorry, I... I didn't know. <gasps> but what about the candle? With the candle? Hmm, with the candle. Let's ask the gnome what he would like to do. So I say to them, leave it as it is. Let it burn! But no, no, nobody is listening. They extinguish and extinguish, drown and drown, douse and douse. They don't allow me to burn quietly. Ah! Again, this fire brigade is on my tail. Will you torture me again? You're all fiends. I just wanted to chat about this and that. Just a conversation. Don't worry. We will no longer put you out. Do you really want to keep burning? Of course I want to. I want it to be fun, light, noisy. <laughs> that settles it. Fanti has a birthday, so we just have to make some noise and have lots and lots of fun. <laughs> this light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine! And today is the birthday of the princess, the day of the maturity. In the palace, they canceled the celebration, but we will throw... A ball? It's boring, but disco is cool. <laughs> hey, what do you think, Fanti? I want a disco! Oh, wow! 
Now let's make this lit! <laughs> Persia, come here to dance! <laughs> What's so funny, huh? Are you guys laughing at me? It can't be me! You can't even dance! We see how the volumetric wizardry is separated into magic sequences. Now pay attention, please. I will demonstrate the unlimited possibilities of magic to you. Ow, oh, wow. Fairy tastic. The eight level magic. 150 kilo fairies. It's not complicated for an educated fairy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> a food show. I know. At this level, the process is divided into a number of elements, like the flower magic, the calling spell, and the vanishing act. Correct. Thank you, Letty. You will begin your training for these spells starting tomorrow, so be ready. All right, Esty, you'll learn the flowering spell, of course. Okay, Fanti, uh, you will work on the vanishing spell. And you, Dreamy, how well are you acquainted with the calling spell? Not at all. You'll train this one, then. Oh, such a... oh, boy. That's it. Lesson's over. But what should I do? And you... Oh, let me help you. And you... Uh, uh, you... You go invent something useless. Useless? <sighs> Stem be long, leaf be hovering, flower grow and... Flowering. <laughs> oh, at least just a small bud, please. Come on now, come out. The stem belongs, be long, the leaf be... What am I doing? The moon book is waiting for me where the real magic is. And I'm pitter-pattering here. Pitter-patter, humpty bump, wally bolly, really jump. Wait! Hey, you bald hedgehog! Come to me already! <laughs> Litter ladder, humpty hump, crawly bolly to me jump! Yes! What's this? <gasps> oh! Fumbling fairies! Oh. Oh. Tertia, here, I've I made it. I can't seem to make this flower grow oh. at all. Hey, look what I've just found. <gasps> Very tastic. What a stylish thingamabob. Where did it come from? From the chest, probably. But no one seemed to ask for anything. Remember? Sometimes the chest gives away magical objects all by itself. No one really knows why. It remains a mystery. Bronze and gold, about 5,000 years old. It's a... The Amulet of Fortune. It's a rare and dangerous thing. It gives extra power to any spell, and with it, everything goes. You shouldn't tell everything that you know, Letty. I wish I had this little amulet just to grow a flower. The Protection Shimmer Fairy. For one time. Wait, what? The Shimmer Fairy put the protection on the amulet. Since that time, the amulet has been helping one fairy only once. The textbook should be your amulet. Yeah, so what? <laughs> Big deal. Now, all of you go back to your studies. It's time for me to cook lunch. Where can 
another time? Fairy Balsam laughs and cries, give me shine two eyes. Oh, it doesn't work. Such a pity. Now the moon charm will work for sure with this thing in hand. And I'll finally know what it does. Glad gold, glad null, globe, dad, luck. Glad walba, analog log. <laughs> Fair him, scare him. Oh no, why did I have to turn the whole room inside out? How should I put it all back together? <gasps> Letty. Give me back my voice. Give me back my voice. <laughs> Tertia is really something. She not only hid the amulet, she took your voice away. Tertia is right. The amulet is dangerous and I don't need it. Oh, please, Miss High and Mighty. Do you think you can do anything without the amulet? I bet you couldn't hack the Shimmer Fairy's protection. Nothing to it. Any fairy who hasn't used the amulet yet should just say, Protection, break down. What should she say? Protection, break down. <gasps> yes, it worked! Letty, you're a genius! You fooled the amulet! It hacked itself! Wait, the amulet is dangerous. Boom, crash, splash, smack! <laughs> ah, my, my! Quiet! I don't like the smell no more. Let it all be like before. <gasps> Very fantastic. Oh, how did you manage to put everything right? Letty hacked the protection. Now, what else could we do? Jimmy, Espy, oh. lunch is ready. <clears throat> Bent hand. What if... No harm if I try it just this once. Fix it, right, paste it up, never be... The screw is oh. loose. The screw is loose. What did you say, Letty? It fixed itself. Was it so simple? Give me back my voice. Sorry, I forgot. <clears throat> well, that there is a compression handle. If you move it wrong, a screw falls out. Do I make myself much clearer now? Yes, it's very captivating. But it's lunchtime. Mushu, away with you. Fanti, it's a good thing that you're training even at mealtime. But you'll still have to eat these mashed potatoes. I will never be able to master that disappearing spell. But I managed to do it, though. Isn't my flower beautiful? Add a girl, Esty. Mm, now try this spell on the dried geraniums. Easy peasy. I ate everything. Thank you. It was delicious. Esty. But you, Letty, stay. Gotta eat up all your mashed potatoes. But I'll try another moon charm now. No way! It's my turn, Jimmy. I need to grow a geranium. Let it grow right on your head. Huh? And you have Camel's thorn. You wait and see. I'll tear all your wings off. <gasps> I'll wizard you a tail. I'll wizard you two tails. Get it back. No, stop I won't. this right now, you two. You, you stop, stop yourself. yourself. Hooray! I was able to do it. Mushu, <sighs> away with ah. you. There. Am I good or what? Ah. Uh. What have you done, Fancy? Revoke the spell right now. Quick, bring me amulet back. What are you doing here? Well, wonderful. Nobody will talk. <clears throat> Whatever is there on your heads? The geranium as you requested. Oh. <laughs> it all works. How should one decipher this secret symbol? Flowering, quite an 
amulet of fortune, huh? It was nothing but trouble, if you ask me. Why did it have to even appear at all? No one knows when and why life yields such magical objects. It just happens, I guess. Mushu, away with you. Maybe it could have been a test? A test? Test of what? Well, to see if... if we're ready to do some real magic. Come here, Kate. Have you ever seen such a flower like this? It's a real miracle. Pure wizardry, I'd say. Secret thought. I hope they don't suspect anything. Fairy Canary, why are you waking me up so early? What <gasps> happened? I didn't finish my dream. Have you forgotten? We wanted to know why Tertia is pretending to be dreamy and find out who she is. An investigation is urgently needed. Mm, do it. And I'm meeting soon with the Claire today. Hmm. So check in the Feynet. Search in Feynet did not show any results. No information about Tertia was found. Don't you understand? Tertia can be anyone, a criminal, a conspirator, a spy. And how do we reveal her? Elementary, our thoughts don't disappear without a trace. Based on this, I invented a device that searches for these traces. Reads them from the interference pattern and converts them into sound waves. Say what? You will see now. What is it? These are the thoughts that have been heard in the room over the past day. What if I try to summon the Queen of the Midnight Fairies? Where's Booty hiding? It's not fair. Why does Dreamy have a boyfriend and even Letty? <gasps> oh. Bruno's spiral, Graves' spiral, Lewis's spiral. How many thoughts we have. I guess that we're real thoughters. <laughs> Fifty-nine tertius thoughts were found in total. Vortex spiral magic, Fibonacci spiral, the spiral labyrinth of Shimmer Fairy, spiral galaxies. That is a lot to deal with. Nothing but spirals it's in her head. Act. Tomorrow, I'll fly to the stone forest and try the magic with the vortex spiral there. So we found out where Tertia is. And what is the point of this? Elementary. Uh, but I don't know yet. Hey. What's this thing here? Someone's secret thought. Now, how do we find out whose it is and what it is about? We can run it through the dream graph. Yes, that's a great idea. So while Dreamy investigates this evidence, Esty will conduct a search. Banty will take testimony. In the meantime, ugh, I'll look into the computer. Permission to go carry out the mission now, Master Detective. <laughs> 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 well, let's see what she has here. Aha! Exactly! Exactly! Uh, uh, no. Search? Oh! What is this here? Something out of fairies. Tossing and turning? Waking up? Hmm, yeah, okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Fair em, scare em. In the secret thought, there are blue flowers and a spiral. So this is definitely Tercia's thought. The pillow said that Kate was not sleeping well because the room smells disgusting. Ah, oh, poor Kate. And I found Kate's favorite hairpin in the trash can. It's broken into pieces. Can you imagine? And what does this all mean, great detective Let's? Elementary. Tertia is an evil fairy. <gasps> But evil fairies are only found in stories. Not in stories, Fancy, but in history. They existed before, and in our time, they don't. 
Tertia wants to harm Kate with blue flowers and spiral magic. And here's the result. Kate doesn't sleep well, but... Fantastic! And the hairpin? The evil Tertia broke Kate's hairpin, especially to confuse the great detective. We'll deal with the hairpin later. We need to continue collecting evidence. <sighs> yeah, search history, macrame. What to do if you're bullied at school. How to remove a stain from a dress by a smartphone. Oh, I like macrame so much. Wait, are there bulls in Kate's school? Who let them in? No, she was bullied. Bullying is, uh, when someone constantly harasses you, one person or several at once. <gasps> How awful! It looks like Kate did all the search on here. Tertia was not looking for anything. Letty, look! It's Kate's phone! She probably left it behind. Hmm, empty. As if it wasn't used at all. In my opinion, it seems brand new. It is true. Tertia is brilliant in covering her tracks. Nobody said anything about Tertia, only about the bad smell. I told you that we smell something nasty. Hmm. Let's carry out a molecular analysis of the ether compound. Let's try to find the source of the smell. Follow him! Here they are, blue flowers and a spiral. So this is Katie's dress? I don't get it. What does this mean? <gasps> Don't you understand? This is... <coughs> it's elementary. Kate spilled juice on the dress, took a stain remover <coughs> to wash it off. But she did not dilute it with water and spoil the dress and now the smell is nasty. Hooray! Tertia is not an evil fairy. She did not want to belay anyone. And you, Letty, ruined our day with your investigation. Booty and I didn't even play like five games, even like 10. Yeah. But... No, something doesn't add up here anyway. Fairies. No, now I'm sure. Look. The girls mock at Kate. <laughs> they broke the hairpin. They doused her dress with juice. Broke the bone. Kate bought a new one with her own money, but she's afraid to bring it to school. But why doesn't she tell her mom? Then everyone will decide that I'm a sneak and a coward. I have to handle it myself, but I don't know how. No, you don't have to. No one has to handle this on their own. Uh, Letty, it's a pity that Kate can't hear you, but I think I know what needs to be done. You're a good girl for telling me everything. You know, Mom, I 
had a dream about little fairies. One of them was so smart, Letty. She persuaded me to tell you everything. How clever Letty is. Thank her very much. I'll call the teacher right now. Together we will definitely handle everything. Well done, Letty. And you, Dreamy. This was a wonderful idea to make a dream and explain everything to Kate. It looks like Tertia has nothing to do with it this time. And I didn't reveal the secret. I'm a bad detective. On the contrary, you are a super cool, super detective. Look how everything about bullying has been detected. And you will find out everything about Tertia. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't know or find out anything about Tertia, but Kate got help. <sighs> Tertia may not have any secret. The prophecy of of Shimmer Fury? Oh, I'll call everyone. Don't tell anyone? Okay. This will be my secret thought then. See? My lips are sealed and I promise I won't tell anyone. I cross my heart and pinky swear. What is she looking for? 